The investigative journalists work with all techniques that are available and also new techniques. So hidden cameras are standard for investigative journalists, but you can see a lot of them working with the social media, for example. The commanded this year we choose the big tax break from RTV in Montenegro. The journalists are opening the leg of the Montenegrin uh, tax system, so they rebel against their whole political system. What uh, we found is very, very encouraging. Prema našem istraživanju do ove situacije došlo zato što poreska uprava nije prinudno naplaćivala dugove, iako je prema zakonu o poreskoj administraciji imala obavezu da to radi. Ali i zbog toga što je vlada usvajala podzakonske akte, to jest uredbe, kojima je praktično blokirala Poresku upravu da sprovodi taj zakon. Od preko pola milijarde eura, koliko iznosi Poreski dug, država Crna Gora neće moći da naplati čak ni polovinu. I to zahvaljujući odlukama i zakonima koje su donosili predstavnici vlasti. Dok su građani dužni da plaćaju sve račune i sve poreze, povlašćenim pojedincima, institucije praktično opraštaju dugove. The winner this year of the investigative journalism is the land of milk and honey from uh, Norway, which we considered a very, very good investigative journalism uh, film, as the, the film tells the story about beggars from Romania living in Norway. The journalists found out um, how the systems work together, they combined the people all together, they um, combined how the, the people are connected on Facebook, um, who the people are, even if they could not show them, um, but that was a very, very fantastic investigative work. Spring 2015. In a neighborhood in Bergen, some people are moving in. And some more. It's women we'll later see in town. Is it possible to make a living from only begging? And what about all these men? Men just waiting, watching, What are they up to? There are two names on the letterbox. Here they are. The woman in the stripy sweater and the man in the cap. Let us call them the landlord and landlady. They live in the basement flat. Others live on the ground floor. In total, more than 20 people live here. We've found the landlady on Facebook. She's friends with several men connected to this house. One of her friends we call Bob. Here he turns up in Bergen. But early in the summer he returns to Romania for a party. <laughs> 